Hi everyone and welcome to today's Starfield video. I wanted to cover lockpicking because it's something that I struggled with when I first started to do it. But there's a lot of tips I found out along the way and now I'm finding it really, really easy. So if you're just starting Starfield and lockpicking is a little bit of a nuisance, this video is for you. From the get-go, anybody can lockpick. You don't need to have the security skill, but you'll only be able to lockpick novice locks. And you do need to have digipicks. If you don't have any of them, you can't lockpick. These come at you very fast, so you'll find them if you're looting about. You can also buy them from vendors. And uh, if you do want to lockpick at higher difficulty, you do need the security skill. Rank 1 allows you to do advanced locks. Rank 2, expert locks. Rank Three master locks and then at rank four you get some more perks now i highly recommend if you do want to lock pick items that you rank up to rank two as quick as you can once you get rank one for one skill point you'll have to pick five locks and once you've done that you can invest another skill point into rank two and the reason for that is that the rings now turn blue when the pit can be slotted i think that is so helpful in fact if they could have put it at rank three or four because it is that helpful. I'm glad they only put it at 2 though. And it really does help. So get to rank 2 as quick as you can. Then when you go to do a lock pick with a digi pick. The difference in difficulty is basically how many rings you're going to have on that lock. And also how many uh, selections you've got on the right hand side. You can see on the right hand side there I've got 9 different selections. Some won't even work. Which makes it more difficult. I'm doing an expert lock here. When it's novice there's not as many items on the right hand side. There's not as many rings making it much easier. And that's how it works. And depending on what security level you are you can also store auto slots these are really good at the bottom there you can see i've got zero at present but if you have an auto slot available you can use that just to get one pick out of the way so you can move on faster i highly recommend using those auto slots it just speeds things up and then at level two you can then see the blue circles as well what the blue circles do, you can see on screen now, the current uh, pick that I'm on on the right hand side, it tells me what that will work on. So I can see it's not going to work on the outer ring, it's not going to work on the inner ring from that, but it does work on the most inner ring. This is why I highly advise getting to security level 2 on the skills, because as you go through each of these on the right hand side, you can see where each of them are going to work, and you can start from the outer and move in, and it makes things so much easier, especially on the more difficult lock picks so now you know how all of that works you've got the security level 2 skill unlock to give you the blue lines it's just about finding where they go so it's planning for the future as well you can see that that pick there that i just set up fit there you see that one fits there and all of the slots on that outer circle are now covered but before you do that it's a good idea to then also just kind of like position the other ones for the inner circles just to make sure that there aren't other combinations you're not going to cancel one out you do, really do need to think ahead uh, but as you go through you, you, you'll move, remove one outer circle and you'll do exactly the same again you'll find out which ones on the right hand side will fix the next circle the blue lines again are going to give you a huge helping hand on that and you just keep on going through until you get to the final circle and you unpick the lock these can take a little bit of time to do and if you want to speed up the process I can only advise to get that security skill level as high as you can because you're going to have more auto slots available to you and at the final level you're able to discard uh, any items on the right that are just not going to work on this lock pick. That will again make it much easier. And for the rest, it is just practice. Just keep on practicing with this and you'll become a lock pick master in no time. There is one more piece of advice that I do want to give you though. While you are practicing, if you want to make sure you get the loot inside, like I've just found this contraband on screen here and I really want it. It's the first contraband that I've found. I don't want to mess this up. Just go and save your game. Save it in any slot that you want to. And if you fail, you can just reload the save and try again without losing any of your digi picks. So it really is a fail save and you can't fail these if, you, if it is something that you really want to get a hold of. And with that is the end of the video. I do hope it's been helpful and I've given you some good tips on lockpicking today. Please make sure you hit like and share if I have done and hit subscribe for more content. I have a link to my Starfield playlist down in the video description with loads more videos in there. Go and check that out now as well. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe and peace out.